All right, hey guys, Inspector here. Today, I'm here to talk about all things NFT, from why do people buy NFTs to which blockchains are the best to use for NFTs? Is it Ethereum? Is it Polygon? Is it Cardano? We're gonna talk about all that. We're gonna talk about how to actually mint a new NFT, how to buy and sell NFTs for profit, how to find new NFT projects and get in early. We're gonna talk about all that and more. So be sure to stick around, smack the like button in the face if you want to see more videos like this. Obviously, if you like this avatar and want to see it in your subscription box every single day, then subscribe. Now, last giveaway, we had a slight problem so giveaways are no longer just youtube comments the giveaway is gonna be for 200 dollars in any cryptocurrency you want and all you have to do to enter is go over on my instagram right here you need to follow me on instagram and you need to comment on this post once you comment on this post that's how you enter the giveaway then i will go through a random instagram comment picker and find the winner the winner will be picked in exactly one week so next Monday. So why do people buy NFTs? Well, I'm gonna explain it in very simple terms. It's basic supply and demand, and mostly speculative value. People think something is gonna go up in value, so they buy it for a ridiculous price, hoping to sell it for an even more ridiculous price. That's basically what NFTs are in a nutshell right now. While NFTs do have very good potential, especially gaming NFTs, especially play to earn games, I'm here mostly talking about JPEG NFTs, those collections of 10,000 characters and such. So here's a very basic example. This is an NFT from the Bored Ape Yacht Club collection. If you got wind of the collection early on, you could have minted it for this much Ethereum, and then you could have sold for this much Ethereum. Insane, right? So why did it rise in value so much? Again, it's mostly supply and demand a lot of people buy those nfts and they obviously want to buy the cheapest one so once they buy the cheapest one the floor price being the lowest price an nft is selling for goes up once the floor price goes up the nft project is worth more so as people kept buying and getting in the floor price kept getting up and up and up and right now this is the floor price for the board apes insane right First of all, you need to have MetaMask if you're gonna be working with the Ethereum network. And I will talk about other networks later on in the video. But for now, let's focus on the Ethereum network because most of the expensive NFTs and most of the good NFT projects are on Ethereum right now. So I'm gonna go to my profile here on OpenSea and I have quite, quite a few NFTs and I'll pick this NFT collection. The mint of this collection is still going on. Obviously, the floor price is now lower than the mint collection. So, so far, this is not, this wasn't a profitable project, but sometime down the road, if it if the floor price gets higher, I can sell my NFT for more than I minted it for, which is the ultimate goal. And obviously, also later on in the video, I will show you how to find new projects you could invest in. So last time I checked, the mint was still going on, so I'm gonna go over to their website and see if the mint is still going on. I think I found a project which Mint is still going on, so I'm gonna connect my MetaMask wallet here with the Ethereum network, and I can choose to mint one of their NFTs, and I will get a totally random NFT from them. If I click Mint, I can confirm on my wallet. Obviously, I don't want to do this right now. Uh, the gas fee is 109 bucks, and there'll be 320 bucks in total, so I definitely don't want to do this right now. But this is how you mint a new NFT, and obviously, as I said, we're gonna later go over uh, how to actually find the new project. This is also one of the reasons why I am not a financial advisor like for example if I told you I bought three slots and now <laughs> some of you may have bought them with me and now you wouldn't have been able to make your money back yet maybe sometime down the road but you can't know that right so that's why I never tell you invest your money in this I always just want to bring out the facts to show you how you can find your own project and how you don't have to depend on any creator telling you what to buy and what to put your money on because ultimately it has to be your decision. So now with that being said, let's say just for the sake of explaining how to actually do this, now I, I'm not saying you should go and buy this, I'm saying just for the sake of argument and conversation and me showing you how to actually do this, this, you would pick a random NFT from a collection that's already minted and you would click buy now and you would be able to buy it for the price that it's listed for. So I can buy this right now for $122. If I was just to confirm the checkout, it would later appear on my wallet as my own NFT. Then later, if the price goes up in value, obviously I can just go over to the slot, which will then be mine. I would be able to click on sell, and then I can pick a price I want to sell my slot for. So obviously I want to go with a price that's higher than the price I bought for, or if I minted it, obviously I want to go for a price that's higher than the mint price was. So 
ultimately I want to sell this for at least 0.1 Ethereum and until the floor price of the project becomes 0.1 Ethereum, I'm not even gonna put it up on sale. I don't wanna waste the gas money. Because obviously every time you buy, sell, basically every time you do anything on the Ethereum blockchain, you need to pay the gas fee. And especially for selling and buying NFTs, Especially for selling and minting NFTs, the gas fee can be really, really high on Ethereum. Which brings me to my next point, Ethereum versus Polygon versus Cardano versus Solana. Which one has the best NFT? Obviously, the most money is on OpenSea and the Ethereum blockchain network with the Ethereum-based NFTs. But if you do want a cheaper alternative, Solana is great, Polygon is also great. Polygon being a layer two of Ethereum, there's a lot of NFTs that actually sell on the Polygon network on the OpenSea website. So the same website that's the where the Ethereum NFTs are, some NFTs also sell over the Polygon network acting as a layer two. So when you do that, the gas fees are much lower, but obviously not all NFTs are available uh, for the Polygon network. And also if you do use the Polygon network on OpenSea, you still have to pay with Ethereum. As for Cardano, Cardano works in a totally different way. While the fees are also very small, and laughable compared to Ethereum, you don't really have, as of yet, a website that's as reliable as OpenSea for the Cardano network. Hopefully sometime down the road, Cardano and all the other blockchains will have somehow integrated within each other and you can just buy and sell anything you want in any currency with low gas fees. So ultimately, that's kind of the goal. That's what we all want. That's how the consumers win and that's how the developers win. That's how everybody wins. Now last but not least, as I said multiple times throughout the video, I will show you how to actually find NFTs that will pump in the future so let's go over that right now here's the website i use for that it's called rarity tools so we'll try to leave a link in the description down below so you guys can just click on it you don't need to find it but if you want you can just search for this rarity.tools basically that's it and this is where you find new and upcoming nft projects and there's really a lot of projects here once you get them to the website so i'm going to show you my process of how i actually filter through all the new nft projects and how i find the ones that i think will pump so most of the time what I would do is click here where it says upcoming and kind of see which NFTs are up and coming and once I find something that has a nice ring to it, a nice name, a cool looking art, it could be anything really that catches my eye where I think yeah this project could do really well, I would then let's for example take this Doge Fight Club. I mean it looks pretty cool, the Doge Fight Club could definitely do very good but as you can see there's quite a lot of projects, this giraffe project looks pretty cool, I mean the artwork just kind of draws me in it looks good uh, the mint price will be 0.06 ETH and as for the Doge Fight Club it's 0.1 ETH per mint so that's $400 per mint for the Doge but let's go over to their Twitter page and they have a hundred they have 1500 followers which is not too bad but for an NFT that asks for 0.1 ETH I don't know I kind of need more reassurance so let's go over to the draft project see what it says 1000 followers but the art I really dig the art, it kind of reminds me of the TV show Bo Bojack Horseman, I don't know if you guys know that, but kind of remind the, the art kind of reminds me of that. Kind of feel like this giraffe is gonna start talking anytime now, I feel like it's judging me very hard, like are you seriously buying JPEGs for $400? Yeah giraffe, so what? I'm gonna sell it for more, what do you want? Haven't you been rug pulled so many times and already lost so much money on NFTs? Yeah man, you gotta you live and you learn! Now let's go even more down and trying to search for something else. Here's a project that's in pre-sale for 0.05 ETH. There's gonna be 10,000 in total, so all of that looks pretty damn cool. Uh, if we go over to their Twitter and they have a lot of followers, and they do, even more followers than the Doge project, so this might be a potentially good candidate for me to invest my money in. So I can mint one right now for 0.05 ETH, that's $200. I know, it might be cool to have this. Let's, let's just see what kind of gas fee they're gonna ask me to pay. $380 gas fee. Are you actually insane? $380 for gas? Yeah, screw you, Ethereum! Jesus! Obviously now is a bad time for the network. If I was to try it, for example, early in the morning, the gas fee would be somewhere around 20 to 30 bucks max. But anyway, let's go over some more of these projects. I'm gonna click on every single one of their Twitters and kind of try and see which one has the most followers, because that's... I get a good sense of how the social is doing, how many supporters the project has. Obviously, the more supporters, the better. The more supporters, the more money is gonna flow into the project. And ultimately, that's what you want. You're searching for something that's gonna blow up, right? So 13k followers, that's the max for now. These, these guys are doing pretty good. 13k is still the most. 
22k okay we found the next winner 22k the billionaire doge club all right billionaire doge club the mint is tomorrow 0 0.04 to 0 0.06 eth wow that's and the art is also looking good this is totally solid totally solid I, look guys i know this looks good i'm not saying you should invest i'm not please just don't go and invest your money right away just don't do that if you want to buy any nft so i'm not sponsored by them this is just my random find right now could be a total flop so guys please do your own research and don't just blindly buy anything so their pre-sale is closed right now but from tomorrow uh 0 0.07 eth is gonna be the mint so this might be one of those projects that's gonna do really well they have a lot of followers they have their roadmap all in all it looks like a totally solid project but then again totally solid projects have rock pulled in the past so you always 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 want to be on the lookout and just be careful just be careful with your own money Never invest more than you can afford to lose and never trust online advisors. Just go out of your own instinct and do your own research and that's the most important thing really. So yeah, this is how I would find a project that's gonna 10x to 100x. Uh, you basically look at which projects you can mint. So the mint is always gonna be the cheapest one. And then you just want to sell it once the project goes live and people start buying and selling and the floor price goes up and then pretty much then you want to sell and it's only gonna do that if they have a big following like this project had they even have 78k on Instagram now I'm wondering are they buying followers if they are then maybe this is not as legit as they thought because as you can see they have like 120 likes 100 likes 300 likes per photo yeah 300 likes per photo with almost 100k followers I don't know bro seems dodgy once again, go over to my Twitter page, inspector.mindblow, like my last photo, and most importantly, leave a comment. By leaving a comment, it could literally say a comment. It doesn't have to mean anything. This is the only way for me to actually pull your name. Once I pull a name, I will check if that person follows me on Instagram. If they do, then they win 200 bucks. And that's how you enter the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. I hope you laughed at least a little bit and I made your day a little teeny tiny bit better. As always, my name is The Inspector and I'll see you next time. Peace.